Hi everybody, it's me, Chris, and it has been a very, very long time since I've made a video. Um, I've had a lot of stuff going on in my personal life. Um, I'm actually in a relationship now, so that has kind of taken up the majority of my dull time, um, which is good. I'm okay with it. I just wish it... I'm just starting to get back into the swing of things. And making another video um, and I guess I'll just show you what I've been up to in the meantime okay so as far as new acquisitions go I've mostly just been um, picking up made to move bodies before they're completely not available anymore um, I live in a small town and the only stores that have them are completely sold out already. Um, the Walmart was getting in new stock-ish, meaning once a week I was picking up a Leah and then they'd have kind of just Barbie and Teresa left over. So I think I've managed to pick up three Leah bodies and two Teresa and I think I just bought a Barbie just because. Um, the other store I go to, they're completely sold out. They've been sold out for a couple weeks now. And they're starting to put their other dolls on clearance. I don't know what they're doing. I think they're sort of rearranging and remodeling. So we'll see how that goes. I don't even know where to start. <laughs> um, since my last video, there was kind of like a No Thrift September thing going on. It's not. It wasn't an official thing. It's just, it was just something that Andrea started. Um, John kind of tagged along with it. I got on board with it. And it was just a month of no thrifting. And I was... I didn't thrift. I was just not the best with not going doll shopping in general. Um, <laughs> so I guess I'll just show you sort of what I, what I was up to. I guess it's already almost the end of October. So I'm going to try to limit what I'm... I guess I show you just because I I could probably go on for a couple hours just with uh, new acquisitions stuff I've been doing so I'm just gonna kind of uh, give you a best of morning dollies for kind of encompass the hiatus that I was on so here we go a few months back I decided to start buying grail dolls that I've been wanting for a while one of them was Jewels, Jeweled Splendor Barbie, and I rebodied her just because I, I could, really. And uh, the reason I, the main reason I wanted her is because she's one of the few superstar sculpt dolls with rooted eyelashes. Um, and I thought that was really cool because it's not often you see. Well, it's not that you don't see rooted lashes, but you don't see rooted lashes on this sculpt in particular. Um, I kind of, I was going to restyle her hair. It kind of didn't work how I wanted it to. So she ended up with a messy braid. <laughs> um, and yeah, I was actually really impressed with the quality of her dress. Just because everything is stitched on, like all the beading and everything. And it's velvet, which I wasn't sure I would like, but I actually think it's really cool. Um, and overall, I'm just 110% happy with this doll, and I'm really glad I picked her up. Um, I guess my only complaint was her box did smell a little terrible, but she was fine, and that's all I care about. Um, so I'm not sure if I'm going to rebody her onto a made-to-move body, or if she's just gonna stick it out on the, I think it's a Raquel body. Fashionista Raquel. It's not a hundred percent match. It would probably match better on a made to move body, but since she's wearing the dress, I don't know if it really matters. Um, I just wanted her arms to move mostly so she could pose. So I guess I could pick up one of those, uh, whatever the Leah was that had the solid legs with the motion, like the, the motion arms, the articulated arms. <laughs> That might be an okay body for her. I actually have one of those for one of my holiday dolls just because they don't move. I just pose the arms and the legs stay stationary anyway. 
kind of rambling. So, next up. Okay, so a few months ago, there was a post on Tumblr um, with linking, well, linking to a particular outfit from eBay. And as soon as I saw this outfit, I knew I had to have it and put it on my super fabulous Allen custom. Um, just because it's very 80s and I, I really like the aesthetic of it. Uh, and it was really cheap. I think it was like a dollar or two. I don't even remember. And taking into consideration the price of this outfit, it's actually pretty decent. Um, so I was happy with it. But along with this outfit, I also picked up some other outfits just because I was curious about the quality. Uh, one of the other outfits was this sort of ballerina dress outfit, which um, I think I actually got the wrong one shipped to me. I think I requested the black on black, but I ended up with black on white, which is still fine. Um, overall, this is an okay outfit for like being a couple bucks. They didn't hem anything in here. And because of the tooling, she looks like she has a gut. Which I'm okay with. I think it looks cute anyway. And uh, it fits decently on the made to move body. As you can see it's not finished in the back at all. But yeah overall I'm okay with this. Especially for the price point. It's actually better made than some Mattel clothes you get. So okay with it. Um, put her down here. So this next outfit I hope it doesn't come across as racially insensitive, um, mostly because, anyway, I'll just show you. It's this outfit here. I really like the fabric that they used for it, and I love sort of Indian culture. And the only head I had that could possibly work with this was Zane's head, so I kind of gave him a flocked beard. Just to kind of make him not seem like Zane. Um, this outfit's probably the best made out of all of the ones I picked up. Like it actually, ha it's actually lined and everything. And for being something I'm just going to put in my personal collection and not actually show off, I'm okay with how it looks. Um, he's actually wearing one of the Ken Cheerleaders pants. Just because I wanted the white on white and then I ended up with black shoes because I didn't have white shoes because I put them on Allen. But yeah, other than that, I'm happy with this outfit probably the most. Um, and yeah, I'm okay with it. And I actually think I like Zayn more with a beard because he's less like the singer and more of his own character now. And... I do have to fix his beard because it's a little patchy and I did it quickly just so I could put this outfit on him. But yeah, there's those are the eBay outfits. And for the price of them, I think they're worth it. Um, and I was expecting them to take months to ship and they were actually here within a couple weeks. So that is actually better than some shipping I've gotten from the States. So overall, I would recommend buying them if you have a need for any of those things. I guess. Well, another dull thing that I've kind of done is Walmart was to clear. Well, Walmart was clearing out their Disney Descendant dolls, and they had quite a few of them marked down. I'm not sure if they were incorrectly priced, but they were pretty cheap. So I picked them up just to see if I could do anything with them, and. I have a sort of surplus of Malibu Barbies that are the Superstar Sculpt. So one of those Malibu Barbies ended up on the Disney Descendant body. Even though it isn't a perfect match, but it is still pretty cute. Um, this particular Malibu Barbie already had a haircut, so yeah, there's that. I think she's cute even without 
a decent color matched body, but I kind of just wanted to try modding the head so it would fit this sort of neck style. And it actually worked better than I thought just because the way the neck peg is formed on this body, it's kind of, it's not a circle, it's more of like a rectangle. So it actually held the head in place without actually doing any, like, um, normally I would use a bread tag method, which is what I actually did for this particular um, Malibu mod. She has a bread tag inside of her head, so it actually keeps, I'm trying to hold too many things, but it actually keeps her head on. Um, so all I really had to do with these two dolls is trim out the inside plastic on the head so they would fit the neck better. Um, but yeah, this one went really, really well. And I'm actually really happy with how cute she turned out. And yeah, this one obviously hasn't found an outfit yet. She's getting there. Um, <laughs> so her body's actually part of the tail end of No Thrift September. I went thrifting the first part of October and picked up, I'm going to say five or six Fashionista dolls. And this was one of the bodies, Fashionista Nikki. Um, she actually came with my scene shoes. So she ended up keeping those on for now. And yeah, I kind of just have a surplus of bodies that I have not really any plans to do anything with them. Um, because I picked up Fashionista and Live Bodies and I now have, I'm going to say three or four Live Bodies that are just in my doll box pile waiting for heads. Because I'm assuming one day I will find heads <laughs> that I need bodies for. Okay, so a couple of other dolls that ended up being rebodying were these two fashion not were these two superstar dolls Pearl Beach Barbie which you saw in another video now has a fashionista body and this random superstar head which I don't remember the ID for also has a fashionista body and yeah that kind of just got two dolls out of my parts box or two bodies out of my parts box two dolls back on my shelf and I'm happy with how they turned out. Another doll that ended up with a fashionista body was this Britney Spears head that I re rerouted using Ashlyn's hair from Ever After High. Um, she was the hit me baby one more time Britney Spears. So she had those weird rooted in bangs that I was more than happy to chop off and her hair was super dry and gross. So, this worked out much better for me. I'm okay with the color. I would have probably preferred something a little more bleachy or blonde, but this is what I had on hand at the point. So, Britney Spears. I might add more, a little bit more eyeliner to the top of her eyes to make her eyes seem a little smaller, but other than that, she's good for now. Oh, so another thing I didn't mention is when I showed this Alan, I didn't show that he or I didn't mention that he's my custom sort of silver skinned Allen, kind of to mimic this Mattel Spectra or Spectra dolls. So he's completely painted silver, which was quite challenging to paint a doll silver, I tell you. Um, originally I wanted more of a chrome, but finding chrome paint that would stick to plastic that I could readily get was a lot harder than I thought it would be. So I ended up getting a brush on metallic paint that ended up being more of, I cannot think of the word. It didn't go on solid. It went on sort of like a, a, a wash. So I ended up painting him gray and it's sort of, Metal, not a metallic gray, but like that silvery gray, and then painting the metal, metallic y paint over top, which gave him more of like a metallic y finish. Because before that, I was just clear or a metallic wash over top of his skin tone, and I couldn't get it anywhere near what I wanted as far as results, even after doing several layers of paint. So, using the gray as sort of a base coat and coating over top of that worked out a lot better for this guy. and. 
The only thing I don't like about this outfit is that it covers so much of his metallic skin. But he's still cute and I'll take it. And sort of on the topic of Allen dolls, I did pick up another Allen doll who I haven't started to customize yet. Mostly because I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do with him as far as if I'm going to mod him onto an Ever After High body because I do have one spare now. Um, so we shall see. I also want to have a shout out to these awesome pants that he came with just because they are very similar fabric to the top he originally comes in. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these pants, but they should be used just because they are amazing. So <laughs> I will have to figure out how I'm going to redress somebody to wear these because I love them so much. They are pretty great. They also need to be washed still. Not that they smell bad, but they should just be washed because you never know. Another project I have started but haven't really gotten that far with was trying to color match an Allen head to a Dexter, Char Dexter Charming Ever After High Body. Just because I love these bodies, they're great for Allen, but Hunter is too hard to find and I could still sometimes find Dexter in stores. So I have to finish painting him. I just kind of did a, I just kind of, honestly, I just kind of threw some paint on him to see how I would like it. It's kind of messy. So I'm probably going to wipe him completely and then try again, just because I sort of have the feel for what I'm thinking I want to do with him. Um, and yeah, that's Alan, pale Alan. Yes, pale Alan, because if you compare the two, Quite the color difference between the two of them. So I also made them looking in different directions or made this one look in a different direction just to be different from the rest of my Allens because I have a lot of Allens because Allen is great. Whew! I feel like I'm rushing but I just want to get everything out there. Get it all out. All the old stuff so I could bring in new stuff. Okay, so I mentioned earlier that the other store I go to has been sort of clearing out their doll department because either they're getting ready for Christmas stock or they're just clearing it out and getting rid of the toy department. I'm not quite sure. So I ended up picking up this Batgirl body for my Totsy Moonbeam Traveler head that I thrifted. Um, and I gave her... She's wearing she one of she outfits just because... Turns out She-Ra's boots fit perfectly on this body. So, instead of trying to find something gold to go with it, I just kind of threw She-Ra's outfit on her. And Maddie's cuffs ended up on here to make these gloves look less awkward as a contrast. So at this point, she just seems very magical girl <laughs> in this She-Ra outfit with her contrasting black gloves, which don't really go, but I might switch them to the made to move hands. Not sure, just because I'd have to see if I can swap them with the made to move doll. Um, that can get a, that can pull off these gloves, I guess. So, at this point I have another, or the, her other DC superhero girl's body is up for grabs. I just felt this one matched her head better because the other one is a little more whiter and this one had more of a warmer tone to it. And yeah, so since I have that other body available, I ended up putting Poison Ivy's head back on it for now just because Poison Ivy is a lot cuter than Batgirl, <laughs> even though they're, I per they're pretty much the same other than the hairstyle and the, her hair is a little more red. Which is a little bit more fun. So, in the meantime, she lucked out and got her head or her body back. Okay, so my camera decided that it was going to overheat and stop recording. So, I gotta try to figure out where I left off. Mm. Oh, yeah, so speaking of. Batgirl. I ended up giving some of her accessories to one of my fashionista made to move dolls and uh, I ended up picking up this separate dress 
at Walmart. And she's just feeling sort of Halloween-y, I guess. <laughs> I ended up getting this fashionista in a three-pack of fashionista dolls. And I ended up getting her with... Oops. This girl here. And the taller Asian doll. And these two are the same sculpt. And, uh... I only really wanted these two. This one in the purple hair kind of just, yeah. It was kind of a pick two, you're stuck with three situation. Um, I'm just kind of over this sculpt already. So she's here, she's rebodied. We're making the best of the situation. That's sort of the Coles Notes version of my dolly going ons. Other dolls that I'm not going to show you just because they're not anything special are I thrifted some more of the newer Bratz dolls. I also thrifted um, some other Superstar dolls. I also thrifted... Oh, I did thrift... I'll show you. Okay, so I also did thrift this Monster High doll for like 50 cents. I have no idea who she is. Because I haven't been in the hobby, at, well, the Monster High fandom hobby for quite a while. Um, so I cleaned up her hair because it came in like a poof thing and it had a piece of foam in it, which I thought was interesting. Um, but overall, her hair cleaned up fairly well. It's fairly long. Originally, I got her just to steal her hair for another reroute. But she ended up being kind of interesting, actually. Just because of her body detailing. I've never seen anything like this. I have no idea who she's supposed to be. Um, the one thing is she was missing a hand. So she ended up with a cam skeleton hand. So it's white when the rest of her isn't. But it kind of... You can't really notice it. I might repaint it or something. Not quite sure what I'm going to do with her yet. I do have to touch up the black on the wings, so I might just paint it, or paint her hand, paint the wings, and yeah, or now that she's cleaned up, I might just go back to my plan of stealing her hair, or passing her along to somebody else who wants her, um, just because it's a shame, because she is kind of cool. So yeah. Whoosh. <laughs> so that I guess wraps up this week's episode of Wine and Dollies. I hope you're all having a dolly good time. And I'll talk to you all soon. And hopefully it won't be quite as long of a gap in between videos. So anyway. Take care. I'll talk to you later. Bye.